Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're at the Heart Valve Society Conference in Abu Dhabi. We're answering your questions that you submitted at HeartValveSurgery.com and Facebook. Thrilled to be here with Dr. Vino Thorani, who is the new Chief of Cardiovascular Surgery at Piedmont Health and the Marcus Heart Valve Center. Dr. Thorani, thanks for being with us today. Adam, thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, and as you know, we're answering these great questions that the patients are submitting. And the f one, one question actually came in twice, very similar, from both Jim Savard and Dennis Cardi. If you're out there, this is uh, for you. The question is, is it necessary to stay on Eliquis permanently after your aortic valve was replaced if you ended up getting AFib post-op as a result of the surgery? Yeah, so Adam, this is a great question from uh, Jim and Dennis. So what I would say is that when you have new post-operative atrial fibrillation, that means that before the surgery you did not have atrial fibrillation, after the surgery you got new post-operative atrial fibrillation, more than 95% of it goes away at 30 days. Hmm. So that's one thing to know that generally it does go away. However, in that small percent of patients where it doesn't go away, then I think you do need to stay on some anticoagulation for your atrial fibrillation that you have. Um, if you have a tissue valve, that means that you don't, for the aortic valve, that means that you don't need warfarin or a blood thinner, um, then you do have to make a decision. If you're in atrial fibrillation, you need to stay on some anticoagulation, generally speaking. Um, if you have a mechanical valve, then obviously you'll be on warfarin for the rest of your life, and you don't need to take warfarin and eloquence. So you can just go to warfarin at that point. Um, you, it does require, I believe, a visit to the electrophysiologist, an EP doctor, to make sure that they look at your risk score, uh, the CHADS VAS score, and they can calculate how long you'll stay on Eliquis. But I do think that before uh, meeting with a specialist, electrophysiologist specialist, I don't think you should just stop your Eliquis. Mm -hmm. I think you need to maintain that to prevent yourself from having a stroke. Yeah, so if we can get a quick follow-up, Dr. Thorani. Yeah. You've said some things about the mechanical valves and right. staying on warfarin and some other questions that we got, and here's you know all the questions yeah, I like that it. all the patients sent in, was this idea of, geez, mechanical valves have this possibility of a lifelong fix, very durable, but they're also asking, is there any new type of valve, any new type of material where anticoagulation is not required for a mechanical valve? So I, I think that's a great question. First of all, before I answer that, I want to applaud you for really bringing a lot of the patient-centric questions um, in, in light of what we're doing. And I think it's really important, by the way. Oh, so I really you. want to congratulate you on that. So there are a couple of things coming out right now. There's, first of all, there's the Proact 10 uh, trial, which is going to look at uh, the Onyx valve uh, and potentially not using Coumadin in it and using a, a uh, uh, a different type of uh, blood thinner that doesn't require the INR testing that's common with mechanical valves or with warfarin. So there is a new trial coming up. It's an FDA uh, by Cryolife, which will be, uh, FDA has approved it and will be in the process of uh, enrolling into it. Um, the, um, the, as far as the other stuff, there are some new technology coming out probably within the next five years, which we call polymeric valves. And these, the thought process is that for polymeric valves, you'd be on warfarin for a short period of time, let's say 30 days or 60 days, and then you'd be able to come off of it. So we're really at the cusp in the next five years of polymeric valves, some tissue engineered valves, and I'm really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be really exciting, and I know that um, some of the stuff that I'm working on, I think we'll be able to bring to humans within the next five years. Wow, well, very exciting. And I just, I have to ask this question because it was one of my own questions yeah. that I put in here. I've been, uh, recently I was at another meeting and somebody was talking about a new valve. I think it was called the Foldax valve. Is that striking any bells no, to you as well as a it does. new polymer valve? Uh, yeah. No, that one doesn't. I know there are three or four companies working on polymer valves. Yeah. Um, but I don't know the name of that one specifically. Okay, great. Well, hey, Dr. Thorani, I uh, can't thank you enough for being here. I want to thank you for answering the questions of our patients. And again, keep up all the great things that you're doing in Atlanta, Georgia. Great. Thanks so much, Adam. Appreciate it.